there once lived an old man who had nothing to do. It wasn't that he was a loafer, for he had a job at which he had worked for years. He was a clockmaker. The trouble was that clocks hadn't been invented yet. Therefore, none of the clever little clocks that he had made worked. And making clocks that don't work is really nothing to do. Oh, he was very lonely. But one day something happened that was to change all this. He was in the woods gathering nuts for the winter when he chanced to see a box that was partially hidden behind a large tree. A box? I will take it home and make a clock that doesn't work out of it. But as he came around the tree, he suddenly stopped short. His eyes widened with surprise. The box had something in it. Who are you? I'm a baby who's been left here in the woods by my wicked stepmother. Baby? How old are you? Sixteen. That's pretty old to be a baby, baby. But the old man's heart went out to the young girl. He picked up the box and carried her home to raise as his own daughter. No longer lonely, the old man was happy for the first time in years. Oh, cutie Lou. <laughs> he called her cutie Lou, which was kind of cute. Cutie Lou, it was exactly one year ago today that I found you in that box. Yes, and you made a beautiful clock that doesn't work out of it. This is your birthday, and I'm going out to find you a gift. Bidding the girl farewell, the old man set off into the forest. He traveled deep into the wilderness and soon came to a soft, wooded glade. There, he found some beautiful flowers of solid gold. Ah, these cute golden flowers will be just the thing for Cutie's cute little hair. He'd only picked one of the tiny flowers when, with a mighty roar, a great beast suddenly jumped from a nearby thicket. Roar! You are picking my flowers. For that, I'm going to eat you. But, but I only picked one. So? I'll only eat you once. Oh, terrified beyond words, the old man pleaded for his life. Please, please chase me. Claw me up a little bit where the scars won't show, but, but don't eat me. Cease! Your cries for mercy fall on deaf ears. I'll, I'll give you a present. How about a clock that doesn't work? What else have you got? Nothing. The only thing I value in my life is my cute little daughter. This caused the beast to stop and think, for he was unhappy as beasts go. And the fact that the old man had a cutie for a daughter brought a plan to his mind. Listen, uh, terrified old man. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. A short time later, the beast gave the old man his freedom, and he wasted no time in racing for home. When he arrived, his daughter met him at the door. Father, you're home. Do you have a surprise for me? I sure do. What is it? I gave you to a beast. I see ya. Wait, wait, where are you going? To find a box. I'm going out in the woods and abandon myself again. But the old man quickly explained that the situation was not quite as bad as it looked. It seemed that the beast didn't really believe that he was a beast at all. He had heard a story about another beast who, when kissed by a beauty, was changed into a handsome prince who had been bewitched. And so the beast figures that if it worked with a beauty, it ought to work with a cutie. Logical? Could be. If he's really a handsome prince, we could get married and live happily ever after. In a castle yet. Oh, I'll do it. And following the old man's directions, Cutie soon found the forest glade where she found the beast anxiously waiting. Ah, fair Cutie. I thought you'd never get here. Sheesh. It's hard to believe that somewhere under all that hair there's a handsome prince. Well, let's get it over with. Going to the beast, Cutie kissed him on the cheek to break the spell. <laughs> Now that's strange. I don't hear bells or nothing like that. How do I look? Oh, horrible. Nothing happened. Maybe I kissed the wrong cheek. And turning to the other cheek, Cutie tried again. Something? Nothing. I can't understand it. The kiss should have worked. Oh, it's no use. If you're ever going to change back into a prince, we're going to have to have some help. And going into the kingdom, Cutie took the beast to a wise man. Now, just how long have you had this feeling that you are a bewitched beast? Well, it started when I was a little monster, only about five years old. Then, seven hours later... Madam, I wish to announce that he is cured. You mean he's a handsome prince now? No, but he thinks he is. Alas, fair maiden, it is I, Prince Charming. Oh, knock it off. I wanted you to be a prince so we could live happily ever after. Me too. But I do want to thank you for all your trouble. Farewell. And with that, the beast kissed her hand. And in a blinding flash, Cutie turned into a beast. Well, how do you like that? I'm the one who was bewitched. I was a girl beast all the time. And so, as usually is the case, <laughs> it was a happy ending. They were married, and as far as anyone knows, are still living a beastly happy existence to this very day.
Thank <laughs> you.